How do you know that you made the right decision before you see the results and you can actually rely on that decision? Well, let's talk about human design and our minds. Now, we've been conditioned that we have to make the decisions in a logical way. It has to make sense, right? It's, um, I will do that because she does it or he does it and they are successful. So it must work for me. I will do that because they told me to. I will do that because I see it works with others, right? I will not do that because no one ever done that before, because it doesn't make sense, because I fear. And if I fear that's not right, right? Staying, staying in the comfort zone. Our logical mind is not to make decisions. No matter if you are if you are two uh, percent of population who are mental projectors, then yes, but there's a high chance you are not. So you are not making decisions out of your mind because our mind is full of conditioning, full of uh, beliefs and limitations what we picked up what uh, we heard what we uh, we we accepted and also you are taking more and more and every day also you're conditioned by your surrounding by your uh, environment and the people and everything what you see hear and read all is there your your traumas your childhood traumas all are stored there and they are communicating also your logical mind doesn't know beyond what it knows right it doesn't know what is possible beyond what you have already experienced and anything else is risk is out of comfort zone and it's 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 dangerous it's warning danger don't go there right yeah our ego is trying to protect us all, all these uh, beliefs and traumas and limitations everything we have created a way of responding way of thinking and acting and it doesn't know and doesn't go beyond what it already knows. Now, in the human design, we are using our mind to give us some options, um, see the difference, maybe, maybe possibilities. We use the mind to explore things, but we listen and rely on our inner authority and uh, the authority is uh, there are many of authorities so it's uh, it can be your sacral it can be your g center it can be your ego authority which is uh, or also called will center or ego uh, your heart center so heart authority uh, will of three, it can be your spleen, your intuition, uh, and it can be also your lunar silk circle cycle if you are a reflector. So everyone has a different uh, authority, which means a different way or the way how the universe, the higher self, God, nature, higher intelligence, pure consciousness, however you want to call it, is communicating with you and guiding you. And the difference between our logical mind and our inner authority is, as I mentioned before, our logic, our, our mind knows only what it experienced so far. That's safe, that is known. But your higher self, your logical mind, uh, sorry, your higher self, your soul, your, your the, the universe, the God, the nature, they know is actually you. You are guiding yourself, you know, from in the higher consciousness, 
you know what is the next step, what is the right decision to do and what is not to do also, right? It's uh, It's like you have your destiny, you know what you are here to do, you sense it, and maybe you maybe not yet, but I'm sure you kind of do in some on some level. And the higher self, the higher you knows what's needed to do or not to do in order to get where you want to be. You don't know that. Here you are completely trusting and surrendering the higher self, the higher you, God, universe, nature, universe, or higher intelligence, however you want to call it, the higher aspect of you, but still you, the higher you, we can call it, to lead you. And it's a process of starting or developing the trust and really surrender to it and you can be sure when you start doing this that your ego will interfere and remember that uh, our logical mind our ego our fears are very intelligent and they know how to impersonate our intuition so how to know uh, what's the difference between your higher self and your fears or your ego is whenever you feel and uh, it's regardless of your of your authority because i don't know your authority yet you have to go and find out in the chart anywhere on the google or internet you just write uh, down the human design chart it's free it's everywhere free you fill out the information you get it your chart how it look like how it looks like and there will be your authority so no matter what your authority is if the decision behind has uh, behind itself some energy like uh, i am going to what post today you don't want to, but you decide that you you do. You will do that. Okay. Why am I going to do that? I'm going to do that because I fear that if I will not, uh, it will interfere with my manifestation process. It will interfere with my client attraction. It will interfere with my business. It was just an example, but you can sense uh, that there is this this underlying fear energy and that is not what your higher you is guiding you to do it, that that makes sense i hope right uh but if your higher self guides you to do something for example okay um what is that uh, i i am supposed to do today or what is that uh, will bring me joy or will bring me closer to my goal is for example to lie down and rest or go out or go to cinema something different than work that doesn't make sense because you want to launch something your new program or or any product or you are in your in your manifestation process, your client attraction. It doesn't make sense, right? But your higher you knows what's needed for you. And now you have a choice. You have a choice to listen, to, to step into the unknown and so-called risky area that, that you don't know because to be led to surrender to higher self or god nature universe is you don't know you are like guided in the dark or grayish so you don't see really or don't see clearly but if you if you follow your uh, mind that you see it's logical that is how it should logically be right so that's the difference 
between uh, your fears and ego and traumas and the logical mind and your higher self. And as I said, this is a process and really starting learning and knowing about your authority, what is it and how it works, how it communicates with you is the first and important step. Okay, maybe the first and important step is to be open to it and then is to learn about it. And uh, you can do it uh, through, of course, yes, you can learn something uh, on the internet, but let's be honest, it's always better to have someone who can answer your questions, who can explain things to you, and who can guide you through that. So I would recommend if uh, if that's uh, what you want, if you want to grow faster and have more clarity and understanding, is to have someone who will help you with that. And the best is to have a human design reading because that is really, um, it's for you. It means it needs your birth data. So you, the death chart is unique and it's you. It's only for you. There is very little chance. They're like, there is no chance that this person exists again. You are original. You are unique. And you have your authority in the chart as well. And all the chart, of course, affects you. But let's say, let's start with the authority for helping you to make the better decisions, what you can rely on, what you can trust, no matter what will be the result. Like you are you are letting that go. You are trusting. Yes, so uh, you are asking the question, you are letting yourself to be led for uh, uh, some outcome, but it is like the end outcome. The small outcomes uh, which are happening through our steps we are going through, we don't know and we we just let it go. We surrender, we trust that the end result will be there. And that needs time, this needs a process. There is also a way, as I mentioned before, how to uh, develop a deeper relationship with your authority depending on what your authority is. There is a way how to communicate with your authority as well. And uh, if that is what you want, go ahead, find your chart, find your authority, start learning and practicing your authority with small things. So you know, you also learn how it feels in your body and you start feeling the difference between the fear and the higher self, the authority uh, guiding you. So it it's really needs little time to get know this and starting the applying it immediately is the best way how you can progress very quickly and learn how to use your authority, how it feels and start making the right decisions that you can rely on in your life, in your business, and you can trust them.